This is Mom Squad Pod, your weekly update on tips, tricks, and all things parenting with Maureen Kyle. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Mom Squad, the podcast and the show where we talk all things parenting. And today, we are talking about your very precious money and, of course, those thrilling sales that we have all been seeing all over, whether it's in person or maybe your inbox is just getting slammed with all the promotional emails saying 70% off. And, of course, right now, with high inflation prices, we want to take advantage and save wherever we can. But there comes a point where savings might actually be costing you more money. All those sales could actually be costing you more money, especially if you make some of the biggest sales mistakes. We're bringing in the expert today. We have the wardrobe consultant who's going to tell us some of the biggest faux pas that pretty much everyone makes that actually ends up hurting your wallet more than helping. But I'm also bringing in my shop till you drop friends, Jenny Jordan <laughs> and Danielle Wiggins, who um, I hope you don't mind me saying this because I'm lumping myself in with come this, on, but on. we've all made these mistakes. Big mistakes that end up costing us a lot more. And we are wearing mm -hmm. <laughs> some of the mistakes mm -hmm. uh, we will explain later. But have you both been, especially fall, I feel like especially at fall, as people are just trying to move inventory, are you seeing more sales and are you falling for it? Well, I am seeing a, a number of sales. I think for me, because I'm a Kohl's girl, mm -hmm. and like I get emails every day, and I'm like, oh, 20% off, 30% off, or do this and give me some Kohl's cash. Yeah. And it's back to school season. For me, the biggest problem that I have is I'll buy something on sale or buy things for my daughter when mm -hmm. she's not there, and then I bring them home, and she's like, I don't want it. And it's like, or like, wait, wait a minute, it's so cute. And it's been sitting in the, her closet for weeks and like, please put this on. Yeah. No, I don't like it. It's not my style. No. <laughs> Jenny. Yes, I definitely, the Kohl's cash. Mm -hmm. I am a Kohl's cash person. I fall for it every time. There's a reason they give it to you, right? <laughs> it's because they want you to keep coming back. And, then and you don't there I it. am. Oh, and then oh. I feel like I lost my money. I'm yes. like, oh, $30 Kohl's cash, you know? Yeah. But, um... So I definitely do that. Another, you know, whether it's in my wardrobe or I'll buy gifts ahead of time because I think, oh, I'm, you know, I'm starting my Christmas shopping early and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then I forget where I put them, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> and it's like I even did this like one this summer. Perfect example is uh, my daughter's night swim team. They do se secret swimmer. So last year at the end of the summer, I'm like getting all the clearance, like goggles and they do shark things. You know, I'm like, oh, I am set. Yeah. I ended up with like a 12 year old boy. Is there a secret? Oh. Would have worked. I was like, that is just losing money because yes. now I just don't have anything to use it for, you right, know? Right. So I know I have three girls. So you think like the way I'm, I try to think about it is okay, well, if I invest in the you know, the oldest pieces, then it'll trickle down and somebody is going to wear it. Oh. But it's hard to guess those sizes, too. Yeah. So I'm trying to guess for, like, next season. Oh, well, I should buy all the clearance items because that's, that's a piece mm -hmm. of advice that a lot of financial people will tell you is take advantage of those clearance mm -hmm. items. But there is a lot more thinking that has to go into it before you fall for all the traps because it is a psychological game that retailers know. They yes. know how to tap into the thrill of getting something on sale and also so how to how to play into your emotions yeah. and especially right now the fears of people thinking, gosh, I'm you know, I need to save money. How am I gonna mm -hmm. do this? Um, so let's get to our expert because I wanna get advice for all of you, and then we're gonna talk about the advice where we've made those mistakes and how we can remedy all of that. So this is wardrobe consultant Hallie Abrams. I think there are some helpful hints I can share regarding how to shop a sale. Because sale shopping, right, people's minds go, ooh, sale, 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 and that's good and exciting. I think retailers have tuned into that, and in some cases, it can be exploited poorly, and in some cases, it can be used to your advantage. Retailers have one goal during fall sales, get their summer inventory out to get the new stuff in. But the wardrobe consultant, Hallie Abrams, says whether it's 10% off or 70%, if you don't shop smart, you're just throwing money away. When you're shopping a sale, there are a few really handy dandy tips. The first of which is to know what is in your closet so you know what's missing but also so you know the things that you love. Very often shopping a sale is a time to replace and replenish things that have worn out. 
So something, if you have a white t-shirt that you love, it's great, you've worn it a ton, but it has some stains on it. That's a great time to replenish it when you find that piece on sale because you know you love it already. The second is when you find a piece that is on sale, think about, I call it the 333 rule. So think about three ways you can wear it, three places you could wear it to, and three items in your current closet that you can pair it with. If it passes, actually, even if it passes two of the threes, you're pretty good to go. Her third tip, don't set yourself up to fall for clicking on every promotional email. So a way to stay really looped in with what sales are going on is to sign up for either the retailer's email list or even the plaza's email list. So as I said, we're at Aurora Farms Premium Outlets. They have their own VIP club that it, most of those memberships don't cost anything because really they want your email. And that way you're gonna know about the sales that are going on before anybody else and you can mark it on your calendar. Another tip I will give for that is if you are inundated with emails, create an email account that is only for shopping. That way, that email, you know you're gonna go look at it. It's gonna have the newest things from all the retailers and it's gonna have all the sales stuff and it's not gonna get mixed up with like your kid's school or your work stuff. And even though Hallie is an expert in following trends, she says last year's fashion will fool everyone and save you big. North Face is behind me, right? North Face will have things on sale now that might have been from last year, but that doesn't really matter. A winter coat by North Face is a winter coat by North Face. It's gonna fulfill a need, it's gonna keep you warm, and the styles don't change terribly. So that's a great place that you can save money and you can look ahead to the next season, even though they're clearing things out. Buying on sale or for a season ahead is never a bad idea. When it is a bad idea is if you habitually buy things on sale, if you are pulled into the whole idea of savings, and then those pieces are hanging in your closet with a tag and you're not wearing them, you should do everything in your power to go through a checklist to make sure it's something you're gonna wear. If you're saving money on it and it's hanging in your closet and hasn't been worn, it wasn't money saved, it was money thrown away. When you are looking at something on sale, it is really important to keep in mind what your lifestyle is. So if you are a mom at home with toddlers, and there is a cocktail dress on sale, and you have nothing coming up where you're gonna wear a cocktail dress, think twice about buying it. Yes, it might be gorgeous, and it might be a designer, and it might be on sale, but are you really gonna wear it? And especially keep it in mind if you have other cocktail dresses at home hanging with tags on it, let's opt for the things that you're actually gonna wear for your real life. Hallie is full of great advice there. I mean, personally, I love the, the rule of threes. We'll talk about that in a moment. But as I promised, we're going to talk about what we're wearing and why it violated at least one of those rules. <laughs> so, Jenny, why don't we start with you okay. on what you're wearing. To, at least we're getting a wear out of it. Yes. Right, we yeah. are getting a wear out of it. And I'm glad because actually when I put it on, I was like, okay, I don't hate it as much as maybe I thought. So, uh -huh. but first. Oh, because when I saw you this morning, the first time you walked in, I, oh, that's cute. I know. Dress. Wait till you that's see like this it. part. You're going to think. Look at that, Danielle. What is that? Seven fifty. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Thank you. So it's from Target. Yeah. And so the reason I don't think I've worn it is because it's like not the greatest material, right? It's gonna only go through a couple yeah. washes, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it's one of those things. So I guess perhaps paying seven fifty, knowing that I'm only gonna be able to wear it a few times, mm -hmm. but I think that's where I fall into a lot of the traps. It's like why don't you just spend a little bit more and get more uses out of right. things? And I think it's something I'm learning as I get older, right? Because when you're young, you're shopping at all the like young stores that are just, you know, yeah. three dollars, you know, mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, okay, you know, maybe you, if you spend a little bit of money, it's going to hold up. It's going to last longer. And so that's why that's yeah. sort of my violation. But that's a but great that's color. And we all, we all complimented Jenny this morning. Like, yeah, that's really. a great dress. <laughs> we love that. And I saw her, I said, gosh, that's a cute dress. <laughs> Thank you. So it's $7.50 well spent, but considering you haven't worn it yet and it's still with the tags. Yes, that was like, I was like, you know, because then I'm thinking maybe I need to put like a vest with it or this, yeah. but I don't have a vest. So now my $7.50 <laughs> dress is going to cost me $30 yeah. when mm -hmm. I go buy a new vest. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. So. Danielle, reveal what you're wearing and why it is, is 
violating some of Haley's rules. Here. Okay, so I'm going a little different direction, and please don't think that I am ungrateful, but uh -huh. I have a family member who loves to buy clothes and loves to shop and do those different things, and then they'll pass on those clothes to me. Uh -huh. And so one of them is these pants. They've been sitting <laughs> in my closet, or actually hanging in my closet for months and months, and I actually wore them this morning when we were on the newscast, and yeah. so I had to take the tag off. But the reason why is because I didn't have anything to go with them. Yeah. And, and, I, and so they just sat there. Yeah. I didn't know if they really fit too well. And just as Jenny said, then I ended up spending more money to buy a shirt to go with it and then try to find, okay, what well, can it go with this, you know, this outfit or this? Yeah. But, you know, I don't want to be ungrateful for the gifts, mm -hmm. but I have a lot of... Clothes with tags. Yeah. I pull another one out, and this one is actually That's really, really, really cute. The problem is, is that it's too big, and so yeah. um, I'm kind of lacking in this area up here, and it's okay. <laughs> and so it's really, you know, it's really big, and yeah. I, I tried it on, like, oh man, it, it doesn't fit. Right. So I brought one of mine. We'll start with that because I have another one too. Now. Number one question I get at uh, whenever I run into somebody who is just learning that I am on TV mm -hmm. or whatever, or they're like, oh, uh, you, you must get your hair and makeup done and you must have people <laughs> buy your clothes for you. And I always explain, no, we don't. This is all our clothes. We have people come in and give us advice. So one of our um, consultants came and, and gave me some advice. She said, you should buy this shirt. You should buy it. It's going to look really cute on air and it's on sale. It's a uh, Carl Lagerfeld. So it's a great designer. She's like, you should definitely buy it um, I probably still I've had this in my closet for I don't even know how many years now yellow tag yellow, tag, tag, yellow right. tag yeah so this says we proof of Persia right right, right. <laughs> you need a bar and shop so I got here, it Jenny. for $20.65 not including tax so 20 bucks that's a good deal mm -hmm. it was it originally designer. it was originally 70 material but nice materials nice but okay. it's two sizes too big. So she goes, well, just oh. go get it tailored. Oh, okay, with all my abundance of time, <laughs> this has been in my closet for two, at least two years, possibly three, because it was definitely before pandemic. So I spent 20 bucks or 22, maybe when yeah. it all shook out, but then I'm gonna have to go get it taken in. And uh, if you've ever gotten anything taken in, mm -hmm. the bodice, it's not like hemming. If you got something hemmed, that's cheaper. Anything with bodice costs a little yeah. extra. So I'm probably gonna spend 40 bucks in getting that's it tailored. That's more than the $20 you spent. So it's yeah. been hanging prime real estate in my closet <laughs> for years. And you know, I bought it because it was on sale, great designer, like she said. Now what I'm wearing now too is probably violating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up here for a second. This is probably violating so many rules of TV. So what she said too about um, knowing your lifestyle and what yes. you do. I, I do buy a lot of like cocktail mm -hmm. workwear items, but we can't wear one shoulder on TV. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm yep. violating a lot of rules here right now with this. So this is more of a dressy, you know, going, maybe going out to a really fancy restaurant with my friends. I have had this mm -hmm. hanging in the closet. Tag there you go. Tag but let me it. tell you a story about it. I mean, this oh, is that's no called, price tag. Oh, well, no, no so I got tag. this from a, a sale, like a sale okay. place that I go very often. Yeah. The original. So I like saw it at at one of a very high end store. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And the original price. On, yeah, I saw on the this. original price there. Did you see it? What did yeah, it say? Four forty five. Four forty five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was an original. <laughs> like I remember being like, I can't spend four hundred dollars on a jumpsuit, but I yes! love this. So then it pops oh. up online on a discount store mm -hmm. for $80. Oh. And I'm like, $80? But it's, $80 I wanted it in black, yes. not in navy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where am I gonna wear this? I don't know. Like, I, I guess I could, you know, I could wear it to a wedding, but then I get a little bit dressier for a wedding. Yes. I could wear it to happy hour, but my friends who are showing up in jeans and a sweater, <laughs> and then I come in rolling like this. So I just have not found the opportunity to wear it. It needs hemmed. But see how we all got thrilled by like eighty dollars instead of four yes, hundred. Yes, you see how I, did, I snagged I did, I did, it. I did, yeah. But now I have spent eighty dollars, and, and you don't I have, have not anywhere worn to wear it. it. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think I violated several of those rules that Hallie laid out for us <laughs> with this outfit. <laughs> that that lifestyle one is so important mm -hmm, and such a key mm -hmm. because I do. I always fall into like I feel like I have 
dress clothes mm -hmm. and sweatpants. Yeah, like mm -hmm. nothing, nothing in between. In between. Right, that's and true. you do that's need true. some of those items, but then I'll buy a bunch of that and I'll be like, oh, I have nowhere to wear, right. you know, this right. or whatever. And I would just clean out my closet. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have a, like an all sequin dress. <laughs> like, unless my New Year's Eve, if anybody is having a party, please invite me. I have a dress. I don't know where else I'll ever wear yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. And I don't know why. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's why I love her rule of threes. Like, yeah, yeah that's, three that's places. Places good, to wear it, three things advice. to pair it with. I think that that was one of the things that rang true with me. And of course, I knew this interview way before we've been sitting here and talking and I've seen these um, items pop up in my inbox. And of course I'm falling for shoes that mm -hmm. are on sale. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, okay, I have to ask myself, what would I wear this with? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. some of them are a little bit more casual and I'm wearing dresses every day. So am I go really gonna wear them to work? Would I pair these with jeans? It, like that advice has made me think about what I've put in my, as I was joking around earlier off camera, all of the abandoned carts that I leave <laughs> open on my um, browser tabs. But the pairing it with three things in your closet to me was the best piece of advice yeah. that she gave. What has really worked for me is I started to do a rental service and mm. a cheaper rental service. I know there's a one that there's, <laughs> it's really expensive and I'm like, oh, I can't afford that one. Yeah. But I do a cheaper one and actually like Express has one now, yeah, but it's good because, so you pay a monthly fee and then you can get unlimited amount of clothes and so, I get them and you have the option to purchase them. Now I had a friend that was like, oh, why do you want to purchase clothes or wear clothes other people have worn? I said, yeah. because I'm cheap and frugal <laughs> and I need to save some money and I have two kids and I got to put uh -huh. them through college. Um, but it was, it's helpful because I get the clothes and it's a part of my monthly subscription. Yeah. And then I wear them and I say, oh, I really like this. Or, and I could say, oh, I have it with these three items, yeah. like the advice. And then if I'm like, oh, this is a great deal because it's usually some type of a hundred, $200 dress. And they're like, oh, you can have it for $15. I'm cool with that. And do so they that say 15 been... or do they say like 50? No, some, some of some, them? but again, okay. they're a little more worn. So okay. it's like they're replacing yeah. and I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's just me, I'm yeah, okay right. with it. But it's right. like 15. 20, mm -hmm. 25, 40, 50, yeah, they, but the original price, 100, 200, so no, it's not brand yeah. new, but yeah. it's helpful. Now, I've fallen into the subscription hole, too, yeah. of doing more like a stitch fix, where it's like once a month, they'll send you five items, and mm -hmm. you can pick, and here's how they get you. If okay. you buy all five items, you get 20% off. Oh, yeah. So I have things in my closet that I didn't really like the way the yeah. jeans fit, but 20% off, it ended up being only like $15 to keep it, yeah. you know, instead of the $80. So it's like, but how much do you save and not? And so it's sort yeah. of like that funny mm -hmm. it is. thing. Cause it's like, again, they're trying to get you like 20%. You could buy it all. Mm -hmm. But really you could have returned those $80 jeans you don't need. <laughs> you know true, what I mean? True. Right. So and it's, it's already like a, in your home. So it's like, but oh, it's already it's so easy. Cause it's exactly. already here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, yes. I fall, I have mixed emotions about the subscription services too, because I did the expensive one. And I think we all know <laughs> which one we're talking about. But you know, I was thinking, well, for work, I need to wear nicer stuff, so, and then, you know, I'd get it, things wouldn't really fit, mm -hmm. and I was trying to, like, make the most out of the subscription monthly, like, how much can I turn over? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you could get the discount on it, but then I was looking, like, I have items in my closet that I really love, mm -hmm. that I have had for, like, 10 years, you know? Like, yeah. I, I invested in those items, mm -hmm. and... If you pay a little bit more and you had nicer I, fabrics, well, if I, yeah. And I, I bought it. I bought it, I right. own it. And so then after a couple of months of the expensive monthly subscription box, I'm like, okay, I've just spent a couple hundred dollars and I have nothing to show for it. Mm, so right. that's where, like I did it for a while and I liked it, but then when I started to really look at the cost, I was like, am I really saving? Cause I could have bought two of those dresses and then have them for the next 10 years. That's See, where yeah, I was. I go with the lower expensive. Yeah, yeah. I know. You're, you're probably doing it smarter than I am, but, um, but you know, that's where I did have those mixed emotions. Maybe I should look at some of those. 
I'd like a financial advisor to crunch same those clothes. numbers for us. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm always wearing the same clothes. Like it. Yeah, got twins. Wearing the same clothes <laughs> That's today. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and then the funny thing too, before we came on camera here to talk about this, we were joking. You joked about like Colts cash. Mm. I mean, that's that's where they get you too, because I I had the email pop up today that I have Gap Cash, and I'm like, well, I gotta spend. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to spend my Gap Cash. I can't leave money on the table. Well, it's. I'll get $40 off if I spend 100. So there yeah. I am mm -hmm. trying to load up a cart of, okay, what, what can I buy? What are those things? Well, maybe I need this or maybe I need that. Um, and then I don't know if you guys noticed too, like I always load my cart up with the same stuff. Like I, I have a ton of like off color, like off white shoes. Oh, right. Because, because you like what you like. And you like and what so you, you like. And so I keep like, which oh, is well, part I need of the, the rules. Like what, what you like, like, like what you like. Because I'm the same way. I'm a plain per plain outfit person, mm -hmm. meaning like I don't like a lot of patterns and stuff. Right. I don't think it looks just I like it on other people. Don't love it for me. Right. right? And so um, I noticed that like I'll try to go out of my comfort zone right, <laughs> and buy something that's like, well, this is cute. You know, yeah. and now it's still sitting in my closet. Right. You know? uh, maybe I've worn it once okay. to try it. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm like, eh, you know, yeah. it's not what I would go to to pick if I mm -hmm. want to feel good about myself. Right. Yeah. Like it's not something I would pick. So that's another like know what you like yeah. is what Holly said. And that's that's so true. And what you have to replace too, or what you already mm -hmm. have. I think that is huge because, uh, you know, a cute pair of jeans pops up in my, you know, social media feed of a uh, suggestion. I'm like, oh, I like those. Well, there's a reason I like those. I have three of those, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I just true. haven't gone through my closet right. in a while. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other pieces of, of advice that popped out to you guys that she mentioned? Hmm. hmm. It's Can just you? a lot. I mean, we've covered a lot of it. I do have a funny story, though, yeah. just last night. So we did, we recently came back from Vegas and mm -hmm. we did all this shopping. So here's an advice. Make, before you leave this store, make sure they took off the tags. Oh, the, oh, the security, uh, security, security tags. tags. Oh, no. Jeremiah comes home. Jeremiah's my son. And he's like, okay, I'm getting my first day of clothes for back to school. And he pulls out the shoes. And the security no. tag is still on it. And I said, oh my goodness. So we threw away the box because <laughs> we, we didn't want to travel with it. And yeah. I don't know if I still have the receipt. So hopefully I can take it back to the store oh, and they no. take it off. But they're like, did you steal these? Yeah. So, yeah. That's, uh, so we may have wasted $50, $60 on a pair of shoes hopefully, that like, we may not be able to wear. Yeah. This is a big security tag. Oh and no, like, oh, oh no. How did we get out of the store? I know. So check, please check your security tag. Gosh, right. I know. The other thing I would just say, one thing about um, sales shopping, I mean, I was born and raised a sales shopper. Mm -hmm. I'm raising my daughter as a sales shopper. <laughs> um, <laughs> but is, um, is to, especially with kids, they grow out of their clothes so fast. We know that, you know? And so I've been very fortunate to have people that do the hand-me-downs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And there's so many things on like Facebook Marketplace and places yeah. like that because I feel good. I feel good about it because then I can spend the money when she wants a new yeah. something, you know, yes. like the Halloween costume or the new Christmas dress. And we make that more of a special thing. Whereas if I was spending that I had to get a whole new back to school wardrobe, yeah. I wouldn't be able to afford that extra special stuff. Yeah. And so it's nice that we're able to do that. So that's nice. Um, I should probably look more for me in the same sort of <laughs> yeah. way of, of looking around you know maybe there should be not a subscription just a borrowing service like mm. yeah. you have with your friends or something that you can do but um yeah that's just the one thing I know kids it's really hard because they grow so fast yeah. right and so sometimes you buy something for Christmas and I get it out and I'm like oh well this isn't even their size anymore exactly the feet oh, oh yes. the shoes. yeah the shoes I know and that's one of those things that you could probably find at some of those resale shops like gently used or never worn shoes yes mm -hmm. and we actually have in a couple of weeks we're going to be talking about how to cheapskate the, the year with mm. uh, going back to school and with kids and all the supplies that you need. So that'll be coming up in a couple of weeks on Mom Squad. But Jenny, Danielle, thank you so much for, for weighing for in us. and wearing finally wearing the clothes <laughs> that, that we needed to wear. And thank you to all of you for joining us here on Mom Squad, the show and the podcast where we talk all things parenting. And we'll see you right back here next week. 
Thanks for listening to Mom Squad Pod with Maureen Kyle from WKYC Studios. Subscribe now so you never miss an update. And find more on everything you heard here on WKYC.com and on the WKYC app.